Good morning. Time to pack up the last bits, some water, power bank, headset, wallet, and some breakfast. I don't think I've even began to explain what I'm doing today. Um, I'm going to hike the Glen Barrow Eco Trail um, and it's starting out amazing. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I feel I haven't seen anyone yet on trail. So it's very quiet, peaceful, very nice. Um, June, actually July, it's the 2nd of July, um, so it's pretty warm, so the water dried up here, but I can imagine this being after a big rainfall, like a nice little cascading waterfall. This is the path, and then it goes under the path, down to the stream down there. It's gorgeous. <laughs> This 
is massive. Can't even begin to describe it. Hang on, let me show you. I think I've once heard somebody call this a fairy fountain. Not sure if that's really <laughs> the official name, but it's pretty cool. The stream is so pretty. And look at those flowers over there. Wow. I think this is going to be the difficult part because you actually have to climb over. Um, so that would be interesting. This is the part I've been <laughs> dreading, to be honest. It's like a pretty steep climb next to the waterfalls. Although, to be honest, in July, there really isn't that much water at all. I'll show you. I know that in the, um, around September and after the winter, this is actually really wild and pretty high. And you'll see the wild white water. But now, it's a trickling stream, honestly. We'll see how it is up over there. Now I get to do it all over again. <laughs> all right, let's go. This is where the water is usually very wild and high. Not today. But I do see a little waterfall actually coming up. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Let's put you over here. Out of my way. And I'll figure out <laughs> how to get up on here. Number one of many.
Hmm? My lash, <laughs> my leash, or what is this called? I don't even know at this point. Shoelaces, laces. There you go. Came undone. And this is not the part. Today I'm all about easy, because <laughs> this isn't easy, <laughs> not to me. how high it is. I'm not going to show you how to climb because this is not what I'm going to do twice. gonna do the rock of my nightmares that one and I think I'm gonna take off my pack to keep my balance a little easier and I don't fall backwards so we're gonna put everything up there and then I will follow <laughs> all right okay let's see you're gonna there you go I do it difficult when well, you could do it easy. All right. was probably the most charming shot you've ever had of me or myself because there's no one here <laughs> okay I'll show you the rest of my path which is also a challenge but it looks more like stairs I'm not sure if you even realize how steep this is <laughs> it's ridiculous that's the second waterfall. So usually sometimes the water is actually running here. Not today. All right, let's move on. Because the mosquitoes are 
in my hair. Slow and steady winds to race. Oh fuck, this is high. This is up to my hips. <laughs> okay. I really don't want to take my cat pass again. So we're not going to do that. There's a little step here. Okay. I am following the orange one. Okay, it's just gorgeous here. I just saw my uh, first other two hikers, two girls, very quick. Oh my God, they're racing through this. <laughs> but yeah, slow and steady rinse the race for me, cause I don't want to dislocate anything today. That'd be great. Look at the view, I'm not, oh, I can't turn the camera, but there's another stream over there. The waterfall is over there, right behind me. And this is the path I'm about to climb. Wish me luck. I don't think I realized how much I climbed until I looked here. And the, you can't even see it. It just keeps going down. Like, that's far. Yeah, you can't see it on the camera, but that's a steep drop. Fuck. Over there was the top of the little mountain I climbed, just over there, and it was a little bit open here, as you can see. And now we're going into a broadleaf forest instead of the pine needles we had earlier. And I do already miss the pine needles because they smelled so good. I don't know what this flower is, but it's so pretty. It's very tall. It also seems like I have some some phone connection here because I just saw a Facebook message pop up for my mom. <laughs> I didn't expect that to have it right here because I haven't had connection basically ever since I parked my car. You know the thing I hate about mountains? Whenever you're like happy you climb something, there's always a part where you suddenly have to go down again. And you're like what did I climb that for? No reason. Just to go down again. Great. Because <laughs> I know after this, I'll have a steep hike again. These stairs, they were scary. <laughs> they probably look like fine on the camera, but oh my god. That took me a while. But I didn't fall. I came down safely. And now we're going to continue that part. I'm on this sort of broad gravel kind of road. And it's not exactly what I expected. Um, so I kind of hope we will head back into the forest soon. Or some kind of change of scenery. Because the forest is pretty. But just a road. I mean, I guess. I'm not sure if this is like the rest of the road. I really hope not. But we'll see.
So I saw some deer earlier on the track. Very exciting. Unfortunately, they were gone before I had my camera out. Um, I did have my GoPro on, on a time lapse. So you might be able to spot like just a hint of them. I'm being very quiet in case I do see them again. Um, so far I've only seen four people on the trail and I've been on here for three hours now. So Friday mornings, pretty awesome. Pretty here. It's like dark. There is lots of midgets though, so I'm not gonna stay here too long. But there's no one and it's so quiet. Absolutely gorgeous. After this road walk of about, I'd say two kilometers, we're finally heading back into the forest. Very happy. But also it means sadly that this end, the end is near. <laughs> I think only one more kilometer and then I'm back to the car. Um, I took the shorter route. I was planning to do the eco route, um, but I do have some blistering issues <laughs> at the moment. Um, so I thought instead of making the eight kilometer route, I'm doing the five and a half or something. Um, so a bit sad it's coming to an end. But on the other hand, I think if I took the longer one, I would have had some issues um, and I wouldn't have been happy. And yeah, so we're cutting it short. Um, finally back to the forest into this dark hole we go. And yeah, that's it for now. Honestly, I'm not fond of these boardwalks. I thought I would love it because it's supposedly easier than that. <laughs> I don't know. It's not for me. <laughs> these steps are just too big for my tiny, tiny legs. That is just easier, but not doable at the moment. and currently it's pretty much full with cars <laughs> 